forward here and this lesson is using time intervals. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com. Okay, this is lesson 10-4 in our textbook and our essential question is how can we find a starting time or an ending time when we know what the elapsed time is, okay? So here's an example here. So Leslie began her running exercise at 1.30 p.m. That's in the afternoon, remember? So she spends 42 minutes jogging. At what time did Leslie finish jogging? Okay, so what time is given right there? And then what time do we need? Well, the time that was given was at 1.30. That's when she began. And then um, uh, what time do we need to find? Well, we need to find uh, uh, the time that she... Uh, Leslie finished uh, jo her jogging. Okay, so one way is we can do this is use a number line and we can do jumps on a, lump, uh, on a number line to find the ending time. So let me slide that up there. So we'll find uh, the time on the, first find the time on the number line where Leslie begins jogging. Okay, well she started at 1.30 right there, okay? And then we can count forward on the number line uh, to add the elapsed time. Remember it was 42 minutes. So we can draw and label the jumps to show the minutes. Okay, well, um, since this is on a nice, um, uh, this is 30, it's a, it's a, on a tens number, we can count by tens really easy and just count by tens until we get up to 40 minutes and then count by ones after that. So, so think, uh, uh, we can break apart 42 minutes into shorter amounts of time and we're going to break them into amounts of tens, tens and ones actually. So write the times below the number line. So here we go. So we're going to add 10 minutes, okay? So 130 plus 10 minutes is going to take us to 140. So we'll add 10 more minutes. Remember, we're going to add 42 minutes. So there's another 10 minutes, okay? So this is 20 minutes so far. So we're going to add 10 minutes to 140, and we're going to get 150. Okay, let's add another 10 minutes. That gives us 30 minutes now so far. So 150 plus 30 is going to take us to 2 o'clock. Okay, remember, because it goes up to 160, and when it gets to 60, it starts the next hour. Remember that, you guys? Okay, and another 10 minutes. Okay, now we're at 40 minutes, so that's going to take us to 210. And we need to go to 42 minutes. Now we're going to jump by ones. Okay, so uh, there's one minute right there, so 210 plus 1 is 211. And then add one more minute, there's 42 minutes right there. So it's going to take us to 212. Okay, so you can just use a number line and, and do jumps of 10. We could do jumps of five also and just count by fives. We just have a lot more jumps on there. Okay, so the jumps end at uh, 2.12 in the afternoon or 2.12 p.m. So Leslie finished jogging at 2.12 p.m. All right, so explain uh, why we decided the size of the jumps to make on, a, on the number line. Well, uh, jumps of 10 were easy counting numbers. So uh, then when we uh, get to the last 10, we can just count by one. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40, and then we counted 41, 42. So there's 42 minutes right there. So we did jumps of 10, and then when we got to the 40, then we did jumps of 1 right there, okay? All right, so another way is to use a clock to find the ending time. So find the starting time on the clock. So it's down here at 1.30 right here. Okay, so here's 1.30. So the hour hand is halfway between the 1 and the 2. And we're just going to add 42 minutes going around that way. Okay, so we're going to count by 5s because, remember, between each number, so from 6 to 7, is going to be 5 minutes. So we'll count by fives and then we'll count by ones when we get to 40 minutes again. And then we'll write the missing counts uh, next to the clock right there, okay? Uh, so I made it bigger right here. So here we go. So I'm going to go, there's five minutes right there, okay? We're going to do, we've got to get to 42 minutes. So there's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, 25 minutes. I'm counting. Uh, so 20, 25, 30, 35. Gosh, a long day today. Uh, 40 minutes, okay, and then 41, 42, okay, so there's 42 minutes, so the time stops right there at uh, 210, okay, because remember, we're, um, when this gets all the way up here, it's going to be 2 o'clock right there, so the hour hand's going to be right there, and then so it's going to be at, um, at 210, or 212 right there. Okay, all right. So uh, let's do, we're going to go backwards this time. So uh, we're going to find the starting times. Uh, the last one we were finding the ending time. So here, Juan was reading for 25 minutes. He finished reading at 11:15 a.m. 
at what time did Juan begin reading? Okay, so if he finished at 11.15, we got to go backwards 25 minutes. So one way is we're going to use the number line again to find the starting time. So we'll find the time on the number line that Juan finished reading. Okay, so Juan finished reading at 11.15 right here. And then, so we're going to go back 25 minutes. We're going to count back on the number line, and we're going to subtract the elapsed time. So we're going to draw and label the jumps as, uh, to show the minutes, and we're going to write the times below. Okay, so again, number lines are good, so we can go by tens, you guys. And we'll go, uh, here's a jump of 10 minutes back. Okay, so 10 minutes back, if we subtract 10 minutes from 11.15, it's going to minus 10, it's going to take us to 11.05. Okay, and then when we go back 10 minutes again, remember at 11 o'clock is 5 minutes, so when we go back 10 minutes from 11, that's going to take us to 10.55, okay? Can you see that, you guys? Because 12, I'm sorry, 11 o'clock is right here in the middle, so that would be 5 minutes back, and then 5 more minutes would be 11.55. Okay, so there's 20 minutes back. We need to go 25 minutes back, so let's go back another 5 minutes. That's going to take us to... 10:50 a.m. So let's slide that up. So we jumped back to 10:50 a.m. and so that's when Juan began reading. So if he read for 25 minutes, he got done at 11:15 and he must have started at 10:50. So that's how we can go back on the number line. So explain how this problem was different from the first problem that we did. Well, in the first problem, we were looking for Leslie's finish uh, when she finished jogging. So we jumped forward. Okay, we knew they gave us her starting time, and we had to find out the finish time. So they gave us the elapsed time of 42 minutes, and we jumped in this direction 42 minutes. Okay, and this last problem, we're looking for the time when Juan started reading. Okay, they gave us the ending time, so we had to go backwards in this direction to the left uh, to find uh, uh, when he started back there. Okay. All right, so in other ways, we can um, uh, use a clock to find the starting time. So uh, find the ending time on the clock. So the ending time is at, uh, was at 11.15 right there. Remember, Juan uh, finished reading at 11.15. And then we can count back by fives because, remember, between each number is five minutes right there. So we can count back by fives until we get to 25 minutes. And then we'll write the missing counting numbers next to the clock. Okay, and I'll try and count correctly this time. So here we go. So there's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes right there. Okay, so the time is right there. Okay, now remember, uh, this is 11.15, so right there would be 11 o'clock. So now this is going to be back at 10.55 right there, 5 minutes back. And then 5 minutes back from that is going to be at 10.50 right there. Okay, so the beginning time of Juan is at 10.50 right there. Okay, you guys, if this helps you guys, would you please click like? That would sure help encourage me. Take, take care, you guys.